Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization V as the Inca. It's me, I'm doing, uh, the thing again. With Community Balance Batch, again. I'm playing the most up-to-date, uh, beta version, released on, I believe, May 20... May 20 something or another? I can't remember. Um, playing as the Inca on continents, on standard... Emperor, standard size, standard speed, everything. Uh, so the Inca are pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to play them. They get to move over mountains and uh, across hills and everything at standard speed, which is really cool. They also get a bonus to mountains. Uh, I think it's, yeah, one food, two gold. Pretty cool. I just hop right into the build. No need to make you watch a loading screen after all. I really like uh, starting on a on a forest because we get the instant boost trip reduction. I consider that to be a pretty important thing. As usual, we'll get a scout, and I, if I remember correctly, scouts as the Inca will actually pass over hills at like four tiles per. I think I think that's how that works. Anyway, um, we have the slinger here, which has the double attack promotion which is pretty cool. They've changed a lot of things around since the last time I played, so I'm not like totally sure where everything is, not totally sure how everything works, but I'm sure we'll we'll manage somehow. Um let's see. So we have a lot of gold, wheat, we're on a coast, lots of gold actually. Where's mining in this? Let's take a good look. Mining, right, of course. Yes. Uh, I guess that depends a little bit on if we think we're going to be building a worker right away, which I don't necessarily know that we will. But it'd be a bad idea, honestly. We do have wheat, so we can actually improve things right away. Um, let me double check really quickly where we get the terrace farm. Up at Masonry. Okay, that's actually not too far away. And we do have the ability to use it, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, around, all around here. Um, I'm whiffle waffling so much, and it's the first turn. Come on now. Um. Well, I like going for an early Stonehenge, so fuck it. I know that's dumb, but I like doing that, so I'm going to do it. Might as well try, right? I think they made it so you don't get a shrine anymore. Right, yeah, you get the council for free, right? What's the council again? Right, right, five science for every time a citizen is born. Cause citizen, because population doesn't give you science anymore. That's right. Ooh, nice. That's pretty sick. Love getting that early culture. I've actually not considered at all how we want to go. Um, they change around these, like, all the goddamn time. I might honestly go progress, just because I don't think that I've ever really gone progress all that often. Well, wouldn't be a bad idea. On the other- nah, nah. I'll go tradition. If only because I'm- you know, thinking of going wonder spammy a little bit. Alright, so I was actually wrong about how the scouts worked. That's fine. No big deal. Uh, I think I'll start with a monument. I mean, after the, you know, after the scout we just pumped out. Yep. And we got our policy. That's going to be tradition, as expected. We get plus three culture, plus two food. And plus 5% food on top of that, so that's pretty nice. Part of the reason why I want to go for it right away is because we can get justice for a free building that both gives us three production and gives us an engineer slot, which, if we're planning on going for an early wonder, very nice. And, you know, we are planning on going for an early wonder, so, you know. I can't help myself. I have no self-control. Alright, continue scouting. Crossing over mountain tiles like it ain't no thing. Sidon, what do you guys do? The Maori warrior. Alright. 
Duly noted. Ooh, another. I'm um, actually going to pass over here. Wait, is that two city-states? It sure is. And El Dorado. I don't think we get gold for that, right? No. No, not in this mod. That was a little dumb that that worked that way anyway, so I'm not all choked up about that. Good to know, though. Hanoi, and I guess I'll cross back here. Singapore. Okay, cool. Got Marvel up there. Borders of Cusco have grown. I'm still okay with the, these tile assignments, though I am going to lock these for now. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Alright. Oh, I guess this does not count as a hill, which I guess makes sense, because it's not really a hill. Fair enough. Keep on moving. You know, one thing I actually didn't think about is maybe I could have gotten away with a warrior, like a second warrior, as a scout. But, I don't know about that. There's enough forests around here that it's probably fine that we went this way. Alrighty. Uh, double movement in jungles and forests. Yep, yeah, I think that's going to be good. Even oh, trapping for free. Birds do not fall into the same traps or nests. Sick. That's how you get archers in this uh in this mod if you weren't aware. So that's pretty nice to get early. Uh, and it also reveals deer on the map. Deer and bison. And there is quite a lot of deer around here, actually. Uh, none of it necessarily in range, but, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Good to know. We might start thinking of expanding pretty much right after, uh, after we get out the Stonehenge. Hello, India. They're a little bit faith-happy, but, eh. That's not that big of an issue. Oh, another. Production. I would have very slightly preferred that into Stonehenge, but it'll spill over because we're at 93 over 65, so it's not totally wasted. Um, next, I think... Okay, hold on. Let me see this. So we, d yeah, we do need all of these to get the masonry anyway. So I guess we might as well go for animal husbandry first because I don't think I'm going to have time to build a worker while I'm building Stonehenge. So I think that's fine. Building Stonehenge like a madman. All right, moving on, moving on. Yep, get that justice just in time for Stonehenge. And that's an 11 turn Stonehenge. That's not bad at all. Uh, I can even speed that up by one turn if I want. Which. Uh, nah. Nah, I, I kind of value the one gold and one culture just a little bit more. Just a little bit. And Tananarivo. And he got 45 gold for them, which is pretty nice. And we're getting actually two gold and one... Or sorry, two happiness and one gold per turn from them, which is also fairly nice. But that won't last for too long. Borders have grown. Not bad, not bad. That's another nice thing about uh, tradition. You get that early cult... Uh, Early border growth. Certainly doesn't hurt to have. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I can actually get that right away. 90 gold. Hey, can I buy a worker? Oh, I actually can. I Can I speed up stone? I actually can do that as well. Um, oh, that's an interesting choice. Hmm.
I actually... I think I'm fine with Stonehenge taking nine turns. Um, I think per gold for, like, turns saved, I think a worker is more efficient because Stonehenge, buying Stonehenge will only give me probably, like, three turns cut if I had to take a guess, whereas the worker will cost me 40 more gold but save me eight, so I think that's fine. I think that's a pretty good use of our money. And, I mean, it does mean that I probably should have went for mining first, but how was I going to know, necessarily? It's fine. And, I, you know, I can still get a farm, and getting a farm doesn't hurt. Oh, that's actually one thing I should point out, in case you weren't aware. Terrace farms actually uh, work w alongside farms in this mod. So, I should actually also point out, in um, this mod pack... Oh, wait, does it not say it here? Hold on. Yeah, okay, it says it here. So, farms actually provide one additional food for every two farms adjacent to it. So, if you build farms in, like, a in like a triangle shape, with, like, three in a triangle, uh, they're all going to get one extra food on top of that. Uh, in another example, if you have, like, say, this tile here was as a farm, surrounded by three, uh, all six tiles around it with farms, it would be getting plus three food, because there's six farms around it. Uh, so you're kind of incentivized to, like, cascade, like, a whole bunch of farms, if that's the way you want to go about it. Although in this mod, uh, food is not really nearly as important, because pop is not really as, like, game-breakingly, you know, powerful. It's still very important, but not as important, because it's not as directly tied to science. Um, and the other, right, the other thing I was going to say is that terrace farms actually tie into that. They actually give, uh, adjacent farms plus one food. Yeah. So that's pretty dope. Meaning that when we put a, a terrace farm on this hill, this farm right here will actually get a benefit from it. So, that's all pretty dope. And that is a lot of barbarians, and this barbarian is actually kind of weak. But I don't think we're going to be able to kill it in time. Bit of a shame. Anyway, Babylon. Interesting to see you here. Yeah. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Keep exploring. All right, looks good. Hopefully we'll have either sheep or cattle or horses in rain, so I'll actually have a thing to do with my worker once it's done the farm. That'd be nice. Take advantage of the double movement on forests to move a little bit faster than I should. That promotion, uh, what's it called? Trailblazer? Is actually kind of interesting. It sort of, like, incentivizes you to travel along forests, because you can actually move four tiles. That, that thing that I said they could do with hills, they can actually do with forests with that promotion. Pretty nice. And also we have Napoleon. Wow, that's... alright. Turn 19 settler. Do I feel like being a massive dick? Hmm. Tempting. Honestly, very tempting. That would be a little bit crazy. So hey, let's fucking do it. This is not a good idea. I guess we didn't need to buy that worker after all. Oh well. Alright, so... Yeah, that would be a pretty terrible idea, idea, wouldn't it? Let's move back around here and let's see what the worker does. Let's just see. They can't attack me because cities only have uh, one tile bombardment range by default. Oh yes, right. Uh, oh good, we do have sheep, although I'm actually not super happy about them being on... The hills here, because I kind of wanted those to be terrace farms. Actually, there's a 
ton of sheep and cattle around here. All right. That's interesting. So maybe something like around here for a second city? And maybe another one up here? I don't know. There's probably going to be a city, like, somewhere in here, because there's a lot of hill- a lot of mountains that I want to take advantage of. I'll think about that when we think about that, though. Or when the time comes. Alright, mining. Gonna be happy to get that. Um, uh, we can hypothetically get a little bit of experience. You know, just- just cause, right? Might as well. I want to be a massive dick, I can pillage. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Oh, I actually didn't notice that it puts like this red circle around units that you're at war with. That's actually a pretty nice uh, little UI thing. I'm actually going to attack. Because then I can retreat and pillage and get the heal. And that will be sick. Oh, hello. I will also attack you. Let's get some experience while we do this whole war. We do need war score to uh, peace out with them. Which apparently we have 16 of. So that's neat. We're not going to be able to beat them, but hey, we might as well get a little something out of it, right? Yeah. A little sum sum. Uh, attacking- oh, there is no attacking across a river penalty. Is there? No, yeah, there is. Okay. Um, desert and snow? Now let's get survivalism. And heal up. And... God, I- t being able to just blaze through here is pretty sick. Not gonna lie. I'm actually just gonna pillage. That'll be fine. And let's come up here and get them sheep. And we'll also get Stonehenge on the next turn. So that's pretty nice. Look. Wait. City event choice required. Oh, right. I forgot that these are a thing. Um. I think this is part of Events and Decisions version 3. I actually forgot that I had that even apply. Like applied um so i guess this is just like a random event G border growth 50 gold free military unit or plus one pop hold on let me look at my city plus one plus one pop is not as good in this scenario as it would be in vanilla but I mean, the only other option is a free military unit, because these aren't really options. Not really. Uh, we are at war, but we're not, like, really, really at war. So, fuck it. Let's get a free pop. And we actually got five science out of that, so that's kind of cool. Um, I have also not been looking at these particularly. Okay. Let's see what we have as options here. Uh, that's not a really option. Mines on improved resources. Nah. Faith and capital. Maybe. It's not a terrible option. Hmm. Uh, we're not really going to be getting too much advantage out of that. We don't really have too many fishing boats, no tundra tiles, we have one tile with a wheat. Alright. Gain faith if you win a battle is not bad. Could always go for ye old goddess of beauty. Old reliable. Uh, goddess of festivals, we only really have one luxury resource near us, so eh. Uh, Goddess of Nature, plus one faith in every two mountains within three tiles, natural wonder. Okay, well, you don't have any natural wonders, and we actually only have the two mountains in our, in our range. We'll get more down here, but eh, I'm not too excited about that. And... 
Hmm. Maybe we'll want to go a little bit science heavy? Huh. Plus one. How, many, how much science are we getting in this city? Oh, okay, so we would actually get two faith effectively. Not a. Um. I'm feeling either Goddess of Wisdom or Goddess of Beauty. I really do like Goddess of Beauty. I really, really do. Let me, let me think about my tech path. So I want to go up to masonry, right? Like, either that or mathematics. Like, one of the two, and then double back for writing. Hmm. So I could, if I was going for, like, the Wonders family type of, type of plan, I could get Temple of Artemis along the way, maybe even Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, but nah, not, probably not. Um... Let me think. I suppose if I wanted to go to mathematics for the Hanging Gardens, I would go up through Calendar so I could get the pyramids if I was feeling extra crazy. But well, I don't know. Let's 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 not go too crazy here. Um, Statue of Zeus is actually pretty valuable because it gets you an early forge, and forges are very important. Uh. No, nah, you know what? Let let's not go let's not go crazy. Well, actually, I mean the bonus from this is no no no. I'm not going to go nuts. I'm gonna I'm gonna just pick Goddess of Wisdom, and I'll be happy with that. So I'm at plus four faith per turn. Actually, why am I at plus four faith per turn? Plus three from buildings. Oh right, Stonehenge actually gives you three. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, in that case, let's get a granary? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with that. Alright. That was a long turn. Let's attack that guy. Oh, they have a new settler. How cute. Move there. Construct. Keep them on moving. Let's see what they do. Oh, they actually are to They're actually trying to move the settler out, which su surprises and amuses me. Alright, keep moving. Let's see, so we'll have mining in three turns, so we can get the mines on the gold pretty shortly. Plus one magistrate, okay. And the game crashed. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Alright, uh... Well, I guess that calls it for the first episode. I will see if, uh... I can load the game and have it not crash. Yep. <laughs> See you guys next time. Hopefully, maybe. Yeah. Later.